about opening and manifesting and self-love, mental health, all that good stuff. If you're new here, welcome. We love newbies. Um, but yeah, so often people ask me how I kind of got into the whole spiritual world or doing what I do. And I kind of fell into it. If I'm totally honest, I was not a spiritual person before I had my kids. Like, I just, when anyone would say it's like a universal sign, I'll be like, oh, you're reaching. <laughs> what are you talking about? Um, so, yeah, I just was not. I was pretty close-minded to all that sort of stuff. Anyway, um, a friend of mine, like, I don't know, how long ago? Like, six years ago now, maybe? Maybe? Um, asked if I would do like this free manifesting challenge with her and I was like, are you freaking kidding? No way. I am not into that. I don't want to do it. Like it sounds like how can you just go, okay, I want this thing and poof, it suddenly appears into your life. Like that doesn't happen. I was like, it's a load of crap. Anyway, she talked me into it and I'm so glad that she did because I really, really enjoyed it and I started to learn about how manifestation actually works and I was able to manifest some pretty amazing stuff in a very short period of time, which put me on this whole, like, I want to learn more, like, I need to, I need, I need more knowledge, I need to figure out all of this sort of stuff and it just opened up a completely different world for me. Now, at the time, I was like, okay, well, I can't really afford all these crazy um, courses that I was seeing people telling you to join. And I was like, well, what can I do that is still going to, you know, help me learn, but without me forking out thousands and thousands of dollars. So I thought I would start reading, right? Knowledge is power, right? And everyone tells you to read. And again, if I'm being totally honest, I am not a natural reader. Like, I think I read two books after I left school and that was like it. Um, and in school, I only read because I had to. I had to do assignments. That was the only reason I read books ever. Um, but anyway, I was like, I'll give it a go. And by this stage, I'd heard a lot about um, someone in the self-help spiritual world called Gabby Bernstein. Now, um, if you are just into this, maybe you, you don't know who she is, or if you've been around the spiritual world a little while, you probably do know who she is, okay? Because she's quite, she's quite big and she's, she's amazing. Anyway, so I bought her book here, The Universe Has Your Back. Now, she did bring out books prior to this, but this is the one that I was seeing all the time, like... It was just, I just felt like I was really drawn to this book before I'd even purchased it. And I'll just tell you a quick funny story. Um, so I purchased this book online and I was waiting for it to arrive. The day that it arrived, I got two copies. Okay, not in the same pack. The pack that I had ordered because it came from the store that I ordered from. And then a little while later, ding dong, doorbell went. Actually, I don't have doorbell. Someone knocked. Um, <laughs> and there was another another delivery from a different online store with the same book inside. So I was like, obviously, I'm meant to read this book. I still, to this day, do not know who sent me that book. No idea. No one ever owned up to it. No one even really knew that I wanted the book anyway. So I don't know how it came, but I was just like, yes, universe, I get it. I get it. You want me to read her book. Um... So I read it and you guys, this is a really easy book to read. If you're anything like me, when people start using like really big fancy words or they like, they just go off on like massive tangents and all that sort of stuff. Like my brain is so busy, I guess. Like I get easily distracted. So I like books that are very easy to read, very easy to follow and are just, that's just what I enjoy. So this in here has uh, links to like meditations and just gives you like good practical steps and information that you can use. And that's why I really, really enjoy it. So I'm going to pop a link below um, so you can check it out, get a copy for yourself if you want it. But I think this is amazing. All her other stuff is really, really good too. I'll probably do another video about the other books that I have of hers um but yeah i think this is 
if you're getting started, definitely give this one a go, okay? Then, after I read that, I kind of um, was really into, like, the whole manifesting thing. So, like, I'd done the manifesting challenge, I read that, and I was like, yep, yeah, ready to go. And I wanted to order another book, so I think this is probably, like, the second book that maybe I ordered that's in this kind of realm, self-helpy, spiritually stuff. And this is called Get Rich, Lucky Bitch by Denise Duffield Thomas. I really like this book. I really um, connect to Denise Duffield Thomas. She is from Australia. Maybe that's why. Like, you don't often come across many authors from Australia that write this sort of stuff, I guess. Well, I haven't anyway. There is a few, but I kind of connect to her. And I like the way she speaks um, the way she writes. So yeah, this is a really good one for, what does it say? Release your money blocks and live a first class life. And she tells you how she went from like, um, her mom was like a single parent and how she went overseas and she couldn't afford things and how she shifted from that poverty mindset into being able to manifest like the best life. Um, she, manifested like I think she went all over the world and got married everywhere she went like she won this competition and yeah she just got to travel the world for free and like it's really really cool but she teaches you all like different money mindset stuff um and how to bring money in manifest the things that you want so these are my two books that I am recommending to you today. The Universe Has Your Back by Gabby Bernstein and Get Rich Lucky Bitch by ben Bernice. Denise Duffield Thomas. So as I said, I'm going to link them below. So if you want, check them out, have a little read and you can get yourself a copy. But yeah, they're my two, my two books, my picks for today. But yeah, that's how I got started in all this sort of stuff. There is so much information out there that it can kind of be overwhelming. There's lots of people, you know, selling different courses and all that sort of stuff. And I think that's amazing. I myself even have courses. But if you can't afford them or you don't really know, like, what way you want to go, I think reading is a perfect way to get started. Okay, reading these books, these self-help books, I know that a lot of people are like, oh, oh, like, what the hell? But they're really beneficial, okay? So, yeah. Uh, click subscribe, as I said before, because I'm going to start posting more videos and I'm going to post the links for those books down below. If you have any questions, let me know. But yeah, I hope to see you all very, very soon. Much love. Bye, guys.